when we first were introduced to Ireland, I don't think we could believe what we were seeing. It was futuristic. Why would this? Why should this? How can this exist? We're Ian Forsyth and Jane Pollard, we're artists and filmmakers and this is our studio which is in Somerset House in London. The exhibition is about our non-stop hyperactive world and it asks us to think about our relationship to time, work, rest, play and collectively rethink our relationship to technology, to the world around us and to each other. So I'm a proxy. A proxy who sleeps for you. The aim for the piece to begin with was really quite simple. It was about could we make these short stories into almost a film but without any pictures. Um, a film that plays out through sound. And where Island came in was a desire to want you to really experience the the story, really experience the sound. Um, I don't just mean hear it, I mean feel it. You go into the room and you climb onto your island. Then this very powerful out-of-body experience starts with this story that is at times funny, but also is deeply disturbing. At that moment, I wished I could sleep for him to give him my sleep? Was there not something in the idea of sleeping for a living? One of the really exciting things about seeing the process of mixing this piece, Somnoproxy, for Ireland, was seeing the simplicity of the object-based mixing. Mm. To actually feel like you could almost just sit down yourself and start moving sounds in space in quite an organic way. Ian, do you agree with this? Mm -hmm. I thought that we should put the male voice just slightly off centre to the right mm -hmm. and then the female voice just slightly off centre to the left. left. Yeah. Okay. Island is just such an intriguing object. People look at it and go, incredible, what is it? What does it do? How does it work? The way that both the narrative and the soundscape envelop you is hugely, um, it like vibrates your whole body and the story is doing the same and you're kind of thinking about where you're going next. It was intense. The notion of telling a sonic, cinematic bedtime story to a viewer who is lying down completely physically immersed, submitting themselves to the experience. How else could we tell a story about sleep? 